against Santa Cruz in a game they played without Marcus Williams. George King for three. Can't get it. Marcus Williams, quick outlet pass to Troy, who lays it up and in, and we're even at two apiece. The Williams combining there, Marcus to Troy. And Ty Ellis was talking about how he was so impressed with the guy stepping up without Marcus and the younger players making plays down the stretch to beat the best team in the G League, Santa Cruz. Who so far tonight has four points and make it still four. And yet he gets his offensive rebound and hits it off the glass. 13.2 for Daniel Oshefu, who's not playing tonight either due to a left knee injury. Here's a three up and good for Reggie Hearn. Williams handling the ball between the rings, finds Jones. Up fake, got space, and hit the jumper. Nice move by Matt Jones on Peter Jock. Ty Ellis not happy with his defense there to start the second half. They rotate it quickly to Troy Williams, who buries the three from the right wing, and it's a seven-point lead again for Stockton. For the native of Belgium and former Alabama Crimson Tide guard, here's Troy Williams jacking up on the three, and the Indiana Hoosier rattles it home. You can see that new net is stuck up in the rim after that jam from King. Troy Williams beats King off the dribble, finds Walker for the flush. And pretty close throughout. King's got a double-digit lead for a minute in that first half. It was a 12-point advantage as Marcus Williams misses the runner. Anthony Walker missed, and it looked like Troy Williams had his hand in the cylinder. Taryn Sullivan swings it to Reynolds for an open three, but a whistle and a foul called on. No, it's going to be count the basket, says Ashley Gilpin. George. Penetrate, step back jumper on the baseline, no. Trayvon Palmer on the offensive glass. Then he lost the handle and a steal for Troy Williams. With 12, fakes it to his left now, starts to dribble. Bounces to Obasahan, blocked away by Troy Williams and Marcus Williams comes up with the loose ball.